slow walk away. Looks like we got ourselves a new job in Codding Con, people. The Comte. Chapter 1. I'm a great believer in worrying about those things we have control over, and we have no control over this crap. Therefore, we should not worry. The Comte de saint germain I'm going to assume that was at least like halfway correct. Uh, Camp of the Cosscrots. I didn't get through all that. Um... Too busy doing voices and not enough time reading. Arinio, my friend, do you hear that in the breeze? The rustle of the leaves and the murmur of the nearby brook. Yes, a good friend, the Comte has come. Uh... We will stop here for a while. Wah! The gentleman who killed your patroness is Colonel Gabriel, commanding the Bien Regiment. Won't be long until he accuses you of this murder. Quoi? I'm afraid you make the perfect scapegoat. Your animosity with the deceased is well known. Oh, it's fair. You are poor, young, and mute. And you fled the crime scene with a notorious thief. Moi. But do not worry, we're safe here. This is the camp of the Cascarots. They are friends, they don't talk. And like all the other Romani in France, they fall in between the cracks. Ooh, they're invisible, a bit like you. No response. Make yourself at home, I need to talk to the magician. All right, let's make ourselves at home by talking to this guy, Irinia Funes. Funes. Uh, he, he seems like a nice guy. Friendly response. Uh, patient. Oh, he's mute as well. We're having a mute conversation. A mute conversation. Uh, he's minding his own business, so, oh, he just, he's not mute. Um, I'm not satisfied. Good for you, good for you. So you're the new pet of our dear Comte de saint Norman? No, don't answer that. My name is Erinio Funes, cheat and humble artist of the shadows. I tricked my fellow man for money and adventure. Would you like to learn magic? Hell yeah, I would. I thought you might say that. It's called Three Card Monte. All right. During a hundred years war, an English lord lost the entirety of his estates over this game, which is a very English thing to do. Then he threw himself off the white cliffs of Dover. Which is a very French thing to do. So follow closely. Do you see this queen here? Oh, we. Oui. I'll put her here. Which is in the middle. But now, okay, so it's on the right, supposedly. But I'm going to tell you by now, it's not on the right. It's probably the left, middle, not right card. Uh, now follow the queen closely. All right. It's on the left. It's on the right. It's on the right. Based on where I saw it, it's on the right, but it's going to be not there. It's going to... Magic, isn't it? <gasps> what? It's a joke, really. All the motion to flow. Trust you understood all that. Why not show off what you learned to the magician? Uh, Wait. Okay. Still waiting. Fine, there's more or two than that I was playing with you. I'll show you how it's done. Start by flipping the cards over. And then pick them all up and show them to... Oh, wait. I pushed... Oh, you got to push buttons at the right time. Things got to have the right pace. Too fast and people won't want to bet. Too slow and they know you're a cheat. Keep the rhythm and let's try again. Okay, start by flipping the cards over. Apparently, it's a whole process. All right. Good. Pick them all up and show them to me. You push the A button. You push the Y button. You push the... Pick them up. All right. A, Y, and B. Boom, boom. Now, for the important part, the secret that makes it work. You can either 
play fair and put the queen down or cheat by putting down the card behind it. Ooh, I'm gonna put the card behind it. <laughs> Now for the fun part, mix them up, but be careful to keep a good rhythm, okay? And then, then you do that, and then you do that, and then you push that button, and then you push that button, and then you push that button. And I don't even know what went where because I was too busy looking at the buttons. All right, now take your time to swap two cards. Make it look deliberate. I'm guessing it doesn't matter which one. We'll do that and that. Time for me to choose. He picks that one because he knows... Oh, I thought he was going to pick the queen because he knew that I did the trick. Very good. I didn't even see you cheat. I think you're ready now. All right. The three card Monty. Let's go. Back again, are we? I can explain everything to you or prefer to uh, leave. I've got it down pretty straightforward. Easy peasy. Let's Monty it up. McGregor. It's probably after you already. Well, it's not that certain hand of chance that has me in this dump. Glad you appreciate my hospitality. Take two. Glad you appreciate my hospitality. At least it smells better than Versailles. This whole video is just going to be me mispronouncing words. <clears throat> Come in, boy. I was waiting for you. Yes, meet the magician. I will wait outside. Okay, Mr. Magician Man. I do have abilities. Trick. Trick you. All right. I'm going to do the fancy Monty thing where I'm going to put the card behind the other card and I'm going to push the buttons on time I'm gonna push the A button then I'm gonna push the Y button and then push the A button and then push the Y button then push the A button and then I'm gonna press B and I'm gonna press Y and I'm gonna switch those two cards for no reason he's gonna pick the Queen because he knows the trick oh he didn't pick the Queen he picked the six and magnificent time for me to show you a trick then I'm gonna teach you how to read an opponent's mind I'll prove it to you now in fact I'm so confident in my abilities I'll put 40 what was it the the liver livers chicken livers on the line i'll take that as yes silence does not mean yes silence means no yes means yes silence means no god pick a card any card from the deck and place it on the top remember which one you choose um let's go with the I want like a five of clubs. I saw the five of spades. Let's go five of clubs. So five of clubs not exist in this deck. Is this a loaded deck? Five of clubs. Five. Oh, there it is. Okay. Is it highlighted? Can't. Uh, we're gonna see them. The, okay. There we go. Five of clubs. Boom. Good. The card you chose is on top, and you remember it. Yes. Five of clubs. Now pick a number. Let's say between two and five. Five. Now watch this. I'm gonna shuffle the deck and then cut it. No, I want to cut the deck. If you cut the deck, that's cheating. Abracad accidentally pushed a button. I don't know if I just did something. I don't think I did. Abracadabra. I know where your card is in the deck. Remember the number you chose? Yep. Uh, five. Watch. Un. Do. Do. Four. Or the number you pick is next to and should be your card. Five of clubs. Oh my gosh. How did he do it? <gasps> yes. Because there's no way I'm parting with my coins over that. And relax. You owe me nothing. The Comte told me of your origins. You seen the look in your eyes. It's always the same. You want to know how I did it? Well, explain since you showed such promise with three card Monty. All right. So I've chosen my card, the Ace of Diamonds, and placed it at the top of the deck. For the time being, let's keep it simple. I choose number one. That means all we have to do is keep the Ace at the top. Let's see what happens if we start shuffling. Shuffle the gold. First, as we first start mixing the cards, we keep an eye on the ace. Oh, that's cheating. But if we keep shuffling, uh, we quickly lose track of it. Damn. Let's reset the deck and see what we can do differently. 
Start shuffling again, but only drop a clump of cards once. Shuffle. Shuffle. Okay. This stage, we know that the ace is, on, is at the top of the pile in our bottom hand. Okay. But if we keep shuffling, we'll lose it. Top of, oh, top of the pile in the bottom hand. Okay, that makes sense. I suppose you're wondering how I kept track of your card when I shuffled and cut the deck before. You're right to look suspicious. The trick is to put a marker next to our card so we can find it later, even after more shuffling. You do this by dropping one card onto the pile and offsetting it slightly. Do this by dropping one card onto the pile and offsetting it slightly. This is called in jogging. Remember, well, boy. In jog. That's it. Now you can shuffle the rest without worrying about losing the ace. <gasps> cheater, cheater, pumpkin eater. Great, now we know where the ace is, but we wanted it at the top, not somewhere in the middle. So now what? That's where cutting comes in. We can feel for the injogged marker with our fingers and cut the deck at that point. The next card was down was our ace. Remember, so we when we recombine the piles, It'll be back at the top of the deck. But why, trust me, let's allow the cards to do the talking. Voila, as if by magic, the Ace of Diamonds back at the top of the deck. Let's see if you understood that. Try shuffling and cutting it. Make sure the Ace gets back at the top at the end. Okay, so we're going to shovel. And then we do a, uh, yep, yeah, that thing in jogging and then we shuffle 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 yeah boop boop let's see if i got it right hell yeah i did uh nope seems pretty straightforward moving on Let's take this trick up a gear then. Think about what we've learned already. By the end of the trick, we wanted the ace at the top of the deck. But what if we wanted second, third, or fourth, or fifth? But the real trick is a bit more impressive. You'll let someone else choose the ace's position. You see, boy, given your time... I know I lost the accent somewhere along the way. I'm, it's, 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 uh. Giving your target the feeling that they're in power is the key to pulling the rug out from underneath their feet. So with that in mind, imagine I'm your mark and I've chosen the number four. Okay, you need to offset the ace with three other cards. That means when you deal, the ace won't be first, but fourth. Well, yeah. I'll teach you how to add these offsetting cards whilst you shuffle. Let's start as we did before. Shuffle some cards down once, just like earlier. All right, cheerful. Good, now before in jogging, we need to offset the ace to correct the position. Th drop three more cards, one at a time. Drop the card, drop the card, drop the card. Great, now create yourself a marker by in jogging a card. In jog. And all that's to do is shuffle the remaining cards down and then cut. Shuffle. 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 That all looked right to me. Let's see, shall we? Nine or one. Two. Three. And bam. Ace, bitch. There's the Ace of Diamonds. That's the fourth card. Just as planned. Impressive work. Now before you go, try not to impress everyone with your newfound wizardry. Here's some advice. There's nothing more embarrassing than messing up a magic trick. I keep practicing. I actually came back. Now remember, I get to choose when I want my card to end up, and neither me nor anyone will... Nor anyone you show this will pick the number four just because you learned it. So pay attention to which number is picked. And only offset the card that far. This time I picked the number two. Okay. Shuffle. Mm, drop a card. And jog. Shuffle. 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 And a shuffle. And put the card on top of the other card. Tap to check. Check that out. 
It's a diamond, exactly what I asked for. It. Well done. Would you like to practice it again? No. Very well, you seem to know what you're doing. You're quite a study. The comedy has done well. When are we going to get back to the murder mystery part? That, that sh had some promise to it. Um, what are we doing here? Talk, do I? Okay, let's go back and talk. Uh, no, I don't need to prove myself again. Okay. Uh, boop. Okay. The Comte. You tricked the magician? Indeed. I hope you didn't sign away your soul, boy, and I've been working so hard to earn it. <gasps> what? Oh, come on, lad. It's not like you've sold it to death itself. So you're part of the family now. We share everything, including our gains. Everything we give to the camp will be given into in good use. It's like a poor people's bank. We support the elderly and the ones who can't work anymore, like er Erinio. I hope that one day we can use that money to change things for real in this country. For real. I will give 20 livers, chicken livers. Your half of the money is yours to spend how you want. We appreciate if you could spare some for our cause. Uh, I mean, I lost my job. My person got murdered. Um, I don't want to be a grumpy Gus, though. I will match the donation. You did 20, I will do 20. Reluctantly 20. We all give what we can, thank you. I feel like I just got scammed out of my money. That's not really gonna go to the cause. He just took the money. I'm calling it now. Find a record of your adventures in the journal. Where's the journal? Oh, it's the Y button. Uh, I write this down from a cas 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 Cascaro camp. It smells like smoke. I draw Colonel Gabriel. He killed Miss P. The Comte says Gabriel blame me for the crime. We also hide from someone named Mac Gregor. At least I am learning lots from a new trick. Like a, at least I am learning lots like a new trick from a man named Erinio. The Comte says I have been spelling his name wrong. I have? Uh, Colonel Gabriel, we got some, oh, this is the journal of the whole game. Okay. Um, ba 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 he is dead, couldn't do anything, does not bother to comp so much, finally leaving this dreadful place. My dreams come true, but what's the price of it? Death is the price. It's an expensive price to pay, and I gotta go around getting chicken livers to pay off the price. Mmm. Anyways, that will do it for this video. Uh, interesting game so far. The aesthetic is pretty, pretty interesting. The gameplay, I'm curious to see where it goes because if it's a lot of button pushing and stick pressing, uh, no. Um, but I'm sure it's going to pick up into other things. The plot seems like it's got an interesting kind of twist going on for it. Thank you all for watching. Y'all be nice to each other. And make good choices. She, she said and make good choices and make good choices and we will see y'all next time.